murongo wa mbere n'uwa 9 ariko twahera no kwa wa mbere kwa gatatu no kwa 9 Let's start from the first one the second the third and the ninth one Ubwo Mose umugaragu witeka ramaze gupfa uwiteka abwira Yesu wa mwene nuni umufasha wa Mose ati umugaragu wanje Mose yapfuye cyangwa yarapfuye none ubu haguruka wambukane nabantu bose ruri yaruzi rwa Jordan mu gihugu mbahaye mwebwe abisrael aho muzakandagira hose ndahabahaye huko nabibwiye Mose ku murongo wa 10 mbese singe ubigutegetse nuko komera ushikame ntutin kandi nduko ku mutima huko witeka imana yawe iri kumwe nawe aho zajya hose amena after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, and all these people, to the land which I am giving to them, the children of Israel. Every place they, that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given you. As I said to Moses, then on nine, have I not commanded you, be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Say, so I have to fight the spirit of fear. I ready to fight the spirit of fear. Amen. Amen. The spirit of fear is amazing. Even the anointed people, they get scared. Joshua feared the new responsibilities he was going to receive in his life. Most especially, he knew the people he was going to lead. Joshua knew the people of Israel. What hurts most here, he is that Moses who brought them from Egypt to Canaan didn't reach there because of them. Moses Told, told Israelites the hurting words. He told them that God commanded me not to enter Canaan because of you. Because Israelites were hard people to lead. When God told Joshua that he'll be the successor of Mo Moses, the first thing that came in him was fear because he knew the people he was going to leave. He knew his people. He knew his siblings. He knew where they had took Moses, how far they have taken him. And he told them, You Israelites, be obedient Joshua. and listen to Joshua. When you read in Deuteronomy 32, Kumurongo Wambedi Verse 1 Mosa rongera buirabi israe Ribose ayamagambo Kumurongo wakabi Arabu girati Uyumusi mazimi yaka Ijanama kumyabili mfuzi Ahayari yujuje Warumusi wa aniversere Muranyu vanezi Ijanama kumyabili mfuzi Singi shobora Guta ambagira Ndeti Uiteka ya rambu yati Tuzambu kayoro dani. Uiteki mana ya nyubgayo. Izambu ka. Ibagi imbere. Inimbura yomahanga. Abari imbere. Uya hindure. 
Yosua niwe uzambuka abagiye imbere kuko uwiteka yavuze Kandi uwiteka azagira nkuko yagiriye Sioni na Og abami bo bamori n'ibihugu byabo abo yambuye Uwiteka azayagabiza namwe muzayagire muzayagirire ibyo nabategetse byose mukomere mushikame ntimubatinye ntimubakukira imitima kuko uwiteka imana yawe ubwayiza kujya imbere tizagusiga tizaguhana Then Moses went and spoke to spoke these words to all Israel and he said to them I'm 120 years old today and that was his birthday I can no longer go out and come in also the Lord has said to me you shall not cross this Jordan the Lord your God himself crosses over before you you will he will destroy these nations from before you and you shall dispossess them Joshua himself crosses over before you just as the Lord has said and the Lord will do them as he did to Sihon and Og the kings of Amor Amorites and their land when he destroyed them the Lord will give them over to you that you may do to them according to every commandment which I have commanded you be strong and of good courage do not fear nor be afraid of them for the Lord your God he is the one who goes with you he will not leave you no forsake you. Amen. So Moses told Israel, Today I'm 120 years old. I can't walk around. Now, God is going to lead you. God is going to lead you. He's going to use Joshua. Joshua will lead you. He will close you over. It was so hard and Forty years leading people. Just like three steps that were left for you to cross over. And God tells you, you will not cross over. Because of the Israelites. Joshua looked at all that. But God cautioned him on 23rd verse. Mm. Then he inaugurated Joshua the son of Nun and said, Be strong and of good courage. For you shall bring the children of Israel into the land of which I swore to them, and I will be with you. So God told him, be strong. He had a lot of fear in him. The fear of the responsibilities God has given him. The fear of leading people who couldn't be managed by the great one. And God gave them to him. And he told him, Be strong. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong. I'm with you. I shall be with you. I'll be with you. I'll walk with you. And you will lead these people of Israel. On verse 14, Deuteronomy 32 44 So Moses came with Joshua the son of Nun and spoke all the words of this song in the hearing of the people. God told him to write a song of bidding farewell to his people. Then after he told them the song, but he did it with Joshua. This song, it was a song of cautioning them, reminding them of where they come from, where they are, and where they are heading. The, the 
The Bible tells us that when we reach in God's kingdom, we shall sing the song of Moses and the song of the Lamb. But this is the song that we shall sing. Mose, Moses, Moses, he repeated that song in the hearing of the people of Israel. He was restrengthening Joshua and giving him a new heart. On chapter 34, still in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 34, verse 7. Verse 7. Integeze zari zitagabanutse abisiraeli bamara iminsi 30 baririra mose mu kibaya cimo wabu kinini nuko iminsi yo kurira mose no kumwiraburira irashira Moses was 120 years old when he died his eyes were not dim nor his natural vigor diminished and the children of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab 30 days so the days of weeping and mourning for Moses ended Listen to this. They wept for him for 30 days. He was a hero to them. He was great to them. When he died, they mourned for 30 days. Joshua saw all that happen. For him, he wondered, this person, they are weeping this much. They are mourning for all these days. How possible could it be for me to step in his feet and lead these people? On verse 9. Now Joshua the son of Nun was full of the spirit of wisdom for Moses has, had laid his hands on him. Before the death of Moses he laid his hand on Joshua he honored him before people. The Bible says that the children of Israel heeded him and did as the Lord had commanded Moses. Though it was like that, he laid his hand on him. He gave him the new anointing. He showed him before the people, but he still had fear instilled in him. Why? Verse 10, but since then there has not arisen an Israel prophet like Moses whom the Lord knew face to face in all the signs and wonders which the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt before Pharaoh, before all his servants and in all his land and by all the mighty and power, all the great terror which Moses performed in the sight of all Israel. That's how it was. Israel could bypass Joshua they could always say we've never seen a man like Moses in science in speaking with God in performing miracles we shall never get anyone like Moses so he was discouraged whenever he could tell them something they could tell him you want to compare yourself to Moses whatever you can do Joshua you can never be compared to Moses because Moses is Moses and Joshua is Joshua 
When God saw that, He didn't come to him to confirm again because he did it before in the anointing and laying hands upon him. But still fear was within him. But then this time God came and commanded him, Rise, for Moses is dead. Lead my people. Haguruka. Rise. And lead my people. Ubambutse. And cross them over that river. Leave and quit the morning. Ufitishinga. Start your responsibilities. You have responsibilities. Leave that uh, loneliness that you're in. Leave the sorrow that you're in. Ufitishinga. You have responsibilities. Yeshua. Joshua. Joshua. Don't keep looking at yourself. Despising yourself. This ministry is waiting for you. Brethren. There is a work that God is waiting for you to do. You keep moving around, but at the end, you're the one to do that job. Why? It's you that God has set in the place of Moses. The work you're doing today, before there was someone who was doing the same work, but God removed that person and put you there. So today I want to tell you, rise up, it's you who is supposed to continue that work. You're fighting with the calling that you have in you. Because of fear. Of your lifestyle. The fear. Of people who hear about it. The fear. Of the family. The fear. Of your brethren or siblings. But the work is waiting for you. The work is waiting for you. No one else will do it. Except you. So God came and talked to Joshua. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I've given you the land. What else do you want from me? Just rise. God reached a point of pleading with Joshua and just asking him, just take a step, do it. Wherever you step, I'll give you that land. Joshua. Okay. Just let's negotiate about it. Just allow me. Just get courage and step somewhere. Where you step, just be silent. I'll give you that place. If you take another step in front, I'll give that place to you. Do you hear that deal of God with Joshua? The fear is too much. There is a lot of doubt. There is a lot of discretion. But fear not. Just take a step. Wherever you step, I'll give you the land. Wherever you step, I'll give you the land. The work of God just requests you to be obedient. The responsibilities God is giving they only require you to be obedient. The rest God will do them for you. Just get out of your fear. Leave your doubts. Wherever you step, 
The Lord will flee away your enemies. Abantu bavuye ngo eh kanaka rakomeye ariko yewe umenye ngo ni imana ikomeye. Je nakandagiye? Oh hallelujah. Amen. People will say you're great but you have to keep it in your mind but that is God who made you great. En fait, umurimo w'Imana nta numuntu wakagombye kubyiratana ngo ni ingufu zanje ni imbaraga zanje nubwenge bwa aa we ure urubaha gusa iyo hageze Imana iri korera. Kuko abantu batarebesha Imana n'amaso ni wewe babona. Kandi iyo bakubonye ni wewe bashimira. Ariko mu byo kuri si wowe. We uzi neza ko ari Imana. You should not boast around of the ministry or the position you're having. People of course they will see you from outside and say you're great, but you inside of you, you should always say it is God who has made me who I am. Ah. Then he said if I take a step, and they come behind me, what will I do? Do you hear those questions he had? Imana, God, isubiza ibibazo ufite mu mutima. Answers. God answers the questions that you have in your heart and as now I'm talking to you, God is answering the questions that you have. Verse 5. Joshua 1 verse 5. Ngonda mundu numwe warinda kuguhagarara imbere iminsi yose yo kubaho kwawe no man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life kuko nabana gana mose niko nzabana na as i was with moses so will i be with sinza gusiga i will not leave you kandi sinza guha no forsake you wenu genda ugakandagira gusahana nta muntu numwe uzaguhagarara imbere if you only take a step no one will stand in front of you imana iri kumwe nawe when god is by your side ihindisha umukitsi biri imbere ya he quakes whatever is in front of you imana iri kumwe nawe when god is with you ikurwanira urugamba wowe utakashoboye wenyine he fights the battle that you couldn't manage you imana iri kumwe nawe when god is by your side kubaho kwawe kose kuba mu butinzi your living dwells in victory Ah. So now fear started to seize a bit but he still had it. And God came once again. In verse 6. Be strong and of good courage for these people you shall divide as an inheritance the land which I swore to their forefathers to give them. Shikama. Be strong. Komera. Be courage. You will lead people to their promises. There are many things that Lord has promised to people but just get out of your fear and help people to get into their promises. Who has that fear in you? Raise up your hand and then we pray for you. Raise up on your feet and pray for you. Lord our God I show you these people They have a calling They are great They are special people But they have fear in them For where they are heading to And where they live Their future All this scares them At this moment I pray that you give them a courageous heart A strong heart And they lead many people to promises Make a covenant with them God The covenant of preserving them as long as they live in this world The covenant of them obeying you let them love you in everything. Let them accept the responsibilities they have. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Be strong. In verse 9. 
Ariko. He said, Okay, I've heard, but, but, on verse 9, God was hurt at this time. Have I not commanded you? It's God who speaks. And whenever he speaks, even things that don't exist, they happen. Things get created. If God speaks, when God speaks, God has spoken. God has spoken that be strong. Am I not the one who commanded it? Don't feel like it's me talking that one. Feel that it's God who is commanding Me, I'm just a microphone of God. I speak what God speaks. God is telling you, be strong. Have I not commanded you? Be strong then. And of good courage. Do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Amen. 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 Eh. Yoshua atangira kwakira inshingano. And then Joshua started accepting the responsibilities. Amaze kubzemerare. After accepting the responsibilities. Ikibazo era afite niki. The challenge that he had. Okay, man and He said, "Okay, yes, I'm strong now." Kandi ndabyiteguye. Yes, I'm ready to serve. Ariko kwa aba bantu bambonera mu Musa. But these people always compare me with Moses. Yes, it's strong and difficult. Every time in their heads they think of Moses, there is nothing that I would do and satisfy them. Every time they would say, if it was Moses, he would have done this. But Lord, hear me and hear my doubts that I have. And all the world. So God told him, Open your Bible in chapter 3. On verse 7. Say this day, repeat this evening, let us use this evening. Ubwo se umuntu si prophet uza ngo mwizi na rya ndavuze ngo uwiteka a a imana yonyine muri audible voice ijwi yumva iramubwira ngo Joshua we uyu munsi ndatangira kugukuza mu maso ya Israeli bose kugira ngo bamenye yuko ndi kumwe nawe nkuko nabanaga na Mose Hallelujah Hallelujah this day I'll begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will with you. Ah. So if your problem is Moses, your comparison with Moses that has come to you, today, I will exalt you. I will exalt you. Whenever they see you, they will see Moses. But the way they live is the same way we live. Moses. The way I used Moses. Is what I will use Moses. Today, they won't see Joshua again. They will see Moses. They will see Moses. They will see Moses. The first thing that surprised them about Moses, Moses, Moses they saw him divide the, the river. The sea. And then he said, Today I'll eh, say that today I'll part Jordan in two parts. They said, Oh, it's like Moses. It's like Moses. Do you know that Jordan is parting? And the Red Sea parted also. Oh, Moses has come. Let's accept So today, I'll start exalting you before the Israelites. There is what God is going to make you do, and people will accept you. There is something that God is going to use 
you and your people at your home will accept him. There's something God is going to do and people will start fear about your God. Today, I'll start exalting you. This evening, we've entered in a room of elevators we're elevating. Today you're elevating you can raise up one leg. This is the first stair. Manura. Raise your second leg. Banura. Put it down. Raise it. Raise it. Raise it. Raise Raise again. Komeza. Keep walking. Hallelujah. 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 Tonight I will start raising. Tonight I will exalt you. Tonight I will manifest your power. The way I used Moses, the same way I used you. Hey! Hey! Take another step. On another stair. Go to another stair. Raise again. Another stair. Raise spiritually. Keep moving. Keep moving. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. 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 Mm, 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 mm. Tonight, tonight, in this night, I'll start exalting you. before everyone who sees you, your workmates, people who walk with you, people who speak to you. Tonight, I'll start exalting you. Yes, Ashima Chat. Praise Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you tell me that Kuburan got you in a carin, we really have Grandma Gap. Chapter three seventeen. Abatambi ba hesi sana kui sisi na njui teka ba hagara muri yolo tani hagati humu tseneza hata nyerera abisraeli wose ba mbukira ahumu tse kugeza hupo kupo tse boga rangiri je kwa mbuka yolo tani duhima ni chumba hiro. Then the priest who bore the ark of the covenant of the Lord stood firm in the dry ground in the midst of the Jordan and all the Israelites crossed over on dry ground until the people had crossed. Completed completely over the Jordan. So, you go to Iman, you go to Koresha, you make a very difficult. So, Amaka Agoye, even we go here. God is going to lead you through the difficult situations. Iman, you go to Koresha, make a difficult. If Zadan Yaban, Ugi Kwambutsaban, Ugi Kuba, whatever others have failed, you are going to cross over. You go over tonight. Iman, you go to Koresha, you go to Koresha. God is telling you that don't be afraid. I'll be with you. I'll walk with you. I'll speak with you. I'll work with you. The way I did with Moses is the same way I'll do with you. Raise up your feet and we pray. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. 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 We are going to pray this time. I want your prayer. To be a friend opening your doors and other people's doors through you.
Let's pray. Raise up your hands. Tell God that God use me to open the doors and open the doors for others. I'm ready to serve you. I'm ready to walk with you. Let's raise our voices. Lord, we we this entire week let, the, let it be the week of miracles in your life. Let people see you. And acknowledge the God. Acknowledge the God you are. 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 Acknowledge the God Munda yawe, mumutima wawe, vayone, ibitangaza, nime nyeso, viherka zumuzima bga, imari kugire nesa, dua ya samashini mbunu yushicha. Yes, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Mutahana ni mbaraka zumuzuko. Go with the power of resurrection. Muzambu salamu hiro dan. May God bless you. If you're not yet saved, have salvation this don't go home without it. Come and we pray for you. And the rest we can go. Even someone following on the radio, on the TV, get ready to receive Jesus. Is the miracle walking God? Is the miracle walking God? Is the Alpha and Omega? Is the miracle walking God? Is is the miracle walking God? Yes. Is the miracle walking God? Is the Alpha and Omega? Is the miracle walking God? Is the miracle? Is the miracle walking God? Is a miracle walking God is the Alpha and Omega is a miracle walking God Ni mani kori vitangaza Ni mani kori vitangaza Ni we Alpha na Omega Ni mani kori vitangaza Ni mana Ni mani kori vitangaza Ni mani 
Kuri vitangaza Niyo Niwe Alpha Na Omega Ni maniko vitangaza Is the miracle walking God Is the miracle Is the miracle walking God Is the Alpha and Omega is the miracle walking God? The miracle is the miracle walking God. Yes, is the miracle walking God? Is the Alpha and Omega? Is the miracle walking God? Is the miracle walking God? Is the miracle? Is the miracle walking God? Walking God. Is the Alpha. And Omega is the miracle working God. The miracle is the miracle working God. Is the miracle working God. Yes, is the Alpha and Omega is the miracle working God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for our brethren who have come to receive Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brethren, Joshua generation. This is Joshua generation. Amen. We're going to pray. Lord Jesus. Yes. King we mutima wanj. Injira murinje. Umberu mami. Umberu mukiza. Ubu king of Ganj. Ungiru mundu we fools. Uyu mugorova. Amaraso yawe. Anyoze. Anyeze. Mwizina jayes. Amen. Awashini mono nyeshi cha. Mighty hand clap to Jesus. Praise 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 